you remember what the Gospel of John says at the beginning of Jesus Christ, of his fullness have we all received, and unending waves of grace. The grace that God has given us to, to pull together, the grace to outrun our plans, to override our mistakes. My heart is full of gratitude because I see in all of this the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ who makes such things possible. Good leaders don't say I, they say we. You can think of a place like ours as a set of concentric circles of fortification that reach out from the faculty and the board through the student body and the alumni association, reaching out from Pasadena geographically around the world. And your presence here is a reminder of the cooperative, the communal endeavor that lies behind effective agencies of the church and particularly effective centers of Christian higher education. One body, many members. One spirit, many gifts. I have run my course for this particular time. The mission goes on. The mission is independent of me, independent of my presidency. It goes on, and it goes on in a context of of promise, of continuity, because you care about it and you understand it, and you represent thousands of others who care and understand. We can say with the Apostle Paul, our labor is not in vain in the Lord. We can say with the Apostle Paul that the one who has begun the good work in us will carry it out, carry it to its fulfillment, its fruition in the day of Jesus Christ. We can say that we will run with patience. We can run with patience the race that is set before us. Keep running, looking to Jesus. Gratitude and cooperation and continuity. What a core we are as servants in God's kingdom. And it's the church of Jesus Christ mobilized for action within the kingdom by the pressures of the word and the power of the Holy Spirit. It will dominate my thinking through these next years of my life as it has through the 30 years that I have lived and walked among you. Thank you and may God bless you all.